The Summit of the Americas wraps up today with an effort to address the increasing migration in the Western Hemisphere. Later today, President Biden and other leaders will sign the Los Angeles Declaration. The White House says it calls for expanding temporary worker programs in countries along migration routes, expanding other legal channels of migration like refugee resettlement and family reunification, and asking countries along main migration routes to fortify asylum processing, more effectively enforce their borders, and remove people who do not qualify for asylum. With us now to talk about this, Roberta Jacobson. She is a former U.S. ambassador to Mexico, former assistant secretary of state for Western Hemisphere Affairs. She was also the border czar in the early days of the Biden administration. She is now a senior advisor at the Albright Stonebridge Group. Uh, Ms. Jacobson, thank you for, for being with us. Do you think this new declaration, which the White House is insisting is important, could make a difference? Well, thanks for having me, Jose. It's really nice to be with you. Um, I think that it is really significant. Um, and I think it's significant for a couple of different reasons. First of all, it looks at migration as a regional problem. Um, we think about the U.S.-Mexico border, but the fact is six million Venezuelans have left their country, um, putting a huge burden on Colombia, Ecuador, other countries in the region. And we have an increasing number of migrants who come from outside the region and come all the way up through South America to the Isthmus, to the U.S. border. So I think the first thing that's important is it's a regional document. It's, it's going to be endorsed by many leaders with commitments. The second thing I would say is that the focus on stabilization, that is to say, helping the countries that are already housing many migrants and refugees so that they can either stay there or move to another country in the region where there may be a labor shortage or, or work that's possible for them. And opening these avenues for temporary work visas is really significant because by closing off areas of work visas, we've almost forced everyone to ask for asylum, which of course many will not be eligible for. And finally, I'd say that this document is gonna have very significant increased anti-smuggling efforts. Uh, the Biden administration has already launched a major anti-smuggling effort that's netted 1,500 arrests. So I think this is a very significant document regardless of what you see in terms of numbers on the U.S.-Mexico border immediately. Yeah, and it's interesting because there are also such an increase in the number of people leaving Cuba, 63-year dictatorship there that has been increasing repression, Haiti, Nicaragua, Haiti. and as you said, uh, Venezuela. So uh, I I'm wondering, uh, we had Senator Menendez on with us yesterday who was reacting to the president of Mexico, Andres Manuel Lopez Orador's statement that uh, the, he's not attending the, the summit because Cuba is not invited to that. Uh, the Senator Menendez said that essentially the president of Mexico Mexico was intending to blackmail President Biden into including dictatorships. Uh, I'm just wondering, the relationship with, with Mexico and that president, who can call a senator of the United States a blackmailer, and, and, and worse, uh, is Mexico participating and cooperating with the United States in a way that could, in some way, help the situation? Yeah, I think it's a really important question. And the fact is, regardless of whether um, President Lopez Obrador attended the summit or not, Mexico has been extremely important and ex extremely cooperative in terms of working with the U.S. both before the summit um, and working closely with the U.S. on how to manage migration flows, because Mexico is frankly just as affected by this as the United States is, because people coming from elsewhere stay in Mexico, even regardless of whether or not our own programs work. But second of all, we saw real engagement by the Mexican government in the Declaration of Los Angeles, despite the fact that their president was deciding whether or not to come. Um, that was real cooperation and real collaboration. So I think um, that we have seen Mexico engage on this issue and, and the, the leaders' participation is a little bit of a, of a sideshow. Um, it's obviously important. We want leaders to be there. But, but regardless, Mexico is engaging on the critical issues of the region.